Hi, my name is Fred Newman. I'm the owner of the View Camera Store, and today I'd like to talk about the Canon JMC 8x10 metal camera. Now I'm starting with the camera folded up. You'll notice on the top here, there's a nylon strap to hold the camera, and under here, there's a nylon strap with a little lock to hold the camera together. So we're just going to unlock the nylon strap, and then you'll notice on both sides by the rear standard, there's two locks, one on each side, and there's also a little tiny notch. So what you can do is lift the back up, and you want to push the notch this way so that it locks in place by the little locking bar. So it locks in place, and what that does, it squares the rear standard to the base. So we're just going to push it back, locks in place, and then lock both locking bars on each side. Now I'd like to op show you how to open up the front standard. Now one of the things I like to do is this knob on the front here is for locking and unlocking the sliding for the front standard for the little rail here. So I'm just going to open it up at least a hand width, lock it down, and then what I want to do is keep this, this knob as far back as I can, these little locks. I want to keep this here so I don't scratch the bellows with the corner right here, then just raise this up. Let me just turn it around so I can see it better. And also, on this side right here, again, there's a little notch, and it has to fit in here to lock it, to make sure that the front standard is square with the base. So on both sides, I'm going to lock it down. And then you'll see right here, there's two little bars. These bars fit in a little tiny groove right here, so you just have to push them down. And they fit in this little groove for the rise and fall. And you'll also notice right here, there's a little tiny line on all sides. That's for centering your front len your lens board and your whole front to the rear. So let's just lock that down right at the line. Now I'm just going to set this back to neutral, so I'm just going to slide this back. This lock here just is for sliding. That's how this moves. So it's very simple. And then you just square it up right here. Now let's go over all the movements in the front. Again, these two bars, locking bars, are for your rise and fall. And let me just get it centered just right. Okay, and then you'll notice there's two knobs in the front. And there's a little tiny, there's a little line on the top, a little line on the bottom here. That's for your front shift. So when you want to get it back, just line these two up and lock it down. And also you see these two little locking bars, one on each side. This is for your front swing. And again you just lock it down and square it up when you're done. And so you've got rise and fall, you've got your shift with these two knobs, you've got your swing with these two knobs, and these two knobs in the front here are for your front base tilt. So let me just get this so you can see it a little better. So what you have to do is push this forward to get it out of the little lock. And you've got your base tilt right here in the front. So let's just lock it in by pushing these little bars back. Okay, now we're locked up. And let me show you the movements in the rear. The rear is the same, this, for your base tilt in the front these for your base tilt in the back. And again, you have to push the, these this way so you get it out of the little notch. And now you've got your base tilt in the rear. Now you'll notice on the top here, there's a little Velcro strip, and there's a little Velcro all along here, just in case your bellows droop, you just lock it down on one of the bellows, one of the little Velcros on the top of one of the pleats here. Okay, now, this camera has 34 inches of bellows, 
So it'll slide out the front. Just loosen it and slide the front out. Lock this down. And it's exactly the same on the rear. You've got your locking right here, your locking knob. Slide it out all the way. Okay, so you've got a total of 34 inches. And again, if the bellows droops a little bit, you just pull it forward a little bit and lock it down. Okay, so let's put it back to neutral. Slide this forward. Slide this one back. And again, I'm loosening this knob on this side. So it's very symmetric. You have a locking knob on the back and a locking knob on the front. Let's just slide this forward. And just square it up. Now on the back here, you'll see there's a little lever. This is the lock position. This is the unlock position. This knob is for your focusing. So all the focusing is in the rear. And then when your focusing is set, just lock it down. One of the features I love of all the Canon metal cameras is the fact that the rear standard slides towards the front, or in this case you just have to use the focus. So I'm just going to unlock the lock for the focus and rack it forward. And because it's metal, the parts are small, you can get extremely close. So just about any wide angle lens on the 8x10 will work. And again, this camera does take interchangeable bellows and there's a wide angle bellows available for it. The other thing is when you're focusing, let me just tilt this forward so you can see it. There's a focusing scale here. So you can see the numbers as you're focusing. So if you focus, let's say, on the far, and you're focusing on the near, you've got this little marker right here you could use. And that helps you focus. Also, you'll notice on the front standard, there's two bubble levels, one here and one here. And it's the same on the rear. You just have to move the little handle forward. There's a bubble level here and there's a bubble level here. What's nice about the ones you put on the metal camera, you don't have to be a giant because you can just see through the little notch and here. And then the same in the front, you can see right through. So it makes it very friendly to work. notice on the front standard there's two locking bars. So when you put your lens board in you want to lock this one this way and you want to lock this one this way. Again you've got two bars to be sure. A lot of cameras just have a bar on top. All the Canon cameras have a bar on the top and the bottom. So what I'd recommend doing is when you put your lens board in lock the bottom first, hold it in and then lock the top. And on the rear standard it's exactly the same. You've got a locking bar on the top and a locking bar on the bottom. Let me just undo this. Okay, let me take the rear standard off. As long as we're here, you'll see the frame, rear frame of the bellows. So you always want to make sure you can see the entire rear frame when you put back the rear standard. And again, the, the plastic of the Fresnel is kind of soft, so you don't want to scratch it. It's because it's just plastic. So I'd recommend getting a ground glass protector from Keith Canham for this and it's just a U-shaped piece of plastic that covers both sides. So let me put this, if you want to do a vertical, if it's in here, you can lock it down. You want to have the film holder come in from this side, just put it this way, and then let's just set it back to the way it normally is. So always lock the bottom, and then lock the top. And you'll notice it's, it's usually in this side, and you'll see the letters KB Canum in the lower left-hand corner.
long as I was showing on the, on the rear bellows, this camera does have interchangeable bellows. You can get a wide angle bellows for this camera. And there's a little locking bar right up front here for taking out the front, the front standard of the bellows. And there's little angle corners that it fits in. And then push this forward and then just lock it down. So it's very simple to change the bellows. Okay, now to close the camera again, I like to have about a hand width so that it don't scratch this little corner does, these little corners don't scratch the pleats of the bellows and wear them down. So let's just start here. First thing I want to do is loosen these two knobs that lock the, the front standard. So you want to loosen those and then loosen the two rise and fall locking bars. And the two bars for the rise and fall, push them up. This one up. So now that it's loose, and then just push this back all the way back. So you want this all the way back when you fold it up. So just slide it all the way back and then the front standard faces down and then loosen this knob and slide it back. Make sure this is square right here. And on the rear you got the two locking bars again. Push these bars forward. Now it's all set. And then you've got the little locking strap. Just click it together and we're all set. Now the trick to remember is practice this quite a number of times. When I first started doing this, it took me a while also. I remember once I was showing someone how to work the camera and they said, you're awfully fast working the camera. I said, no, I've just had more practice than you. So what I recommend is practice opening and closing the camera many times till it's second nature. I hope this helps you understand the camera. Thank you for watching.